As the third quarter kicked off, Wyndham trailed just seven to nothing. For Wyndham, the game was defined by missed opportunities. After driving down deep into Red Riot territory, LeBurge would be intercepted in the end zone. Down seven to nothing is manageable, but down by two scores in suspect weather is a challenge. A challenge Wyndham would face after backup quarterback Tommy Ellis broke free for a 37-yard touchdown midway through the fourth quarter. Despite a missed point after kick, the Eagles found themselves down and running out of time. For the first time all game, LeBurge and his receivers connected. On their fourth trip into the red zone, they were finally rewarded. With 3.37 to go, LeBurge found senior captain Nick Burton for a 22-yard touchdown to bring Wyndham back into the game. After a failed onside kick and defensive stand, Wyndham had one last chance to tie the ball game. A fourth down conversion on a screen pass put Wyndham inside Red Riot territory yet again. Three plays later, yet another fourth down, and the Eagles converted again, this time to Nick Burton. Facing a fourth down and nearly no time left on the clock, Wyndham had time for just one more play. Back over at Memorial Field at Deering, despite the game being well in hand at 4 0, there was still some history to be made. Taylor Witham, a senior captain and defensive midfield specialist, scored her first ever varsity goal. The second half would start much like the first half, with Taylor nearly netting her second goal, if not for a save by the Deering goalie. Later on, it was the sophomore duo of forward Gabby Cardona and midfielder Brooke Flaherty, who each nearly netted their first varsity goals. Come on, Brooke! Ah! Chevrolet would cruise in the second half on their way to a 5-0 opening game victory. Despite the accomplishments of some of her leaders, Coach Mack applauds the entire team's effort. That's even better than what I thought would happen, so that's, I'm very proud, okay? So a lot of people step up, so I'm really, really happy, okay? And it looks like we're in very good condition, so that's just what I'm happiest about, okay? Not, not too many people were tired, and we had fresh legs, we were beating them to the ball, so I'm very happy, okay? And you guys should be proud of yourselves, all right? Uh, good game. I don't know what you guys say. Good game, Jerry. Thank you for Off to their flying start, Shivers heads home to face a tough test against Kennybunk. 
and the 0-1 Eagles look to get their season on track against Chevres. It's an all-new varsity next Sunday at 9.30 on WPME.